hello everyone welcome to power bi data flow playlist so in this video we will learn about linked entities concept in the power bi data flow so uh, initially uh, guys we will talk about the technical points or the theoretical points about the linked entities and uh, we'll try to understand like what this linked entities con concept is and after that we will get into the demo part okay uh, and one more point guys uh, uh, anyone who is looking or who is watching this session i would request him to go and watch my previous sessions as well uh, just to have more clarity and understanding so with that said let's go ahead with the next slide so these are the couple of technical or the theoretical point i mentioned in this particular slide and uh, if i just go with the first point uh, it says the linked entity simply points to the entities in other data flow uh, and do not copy or duplicate the data okay so uh, don't worry guys uh, if you couldn't able to understand this point let's try to understand uh, this point uh, with the help of diagram so uh, let's say guys uh, in our workspace we have a data flow which is already present so let's say uh, this is the data flow which is present in my workspace okay and uh, uh, the name of this data flow is let me put as data flow one so this is the data flow one and uh, in this data flow uh, there are a couple of table available just yes, such as uh, date uh, product um, customer and fact internet sales okay so these are the different tables which are part of this uh, particular data flow uh, now uh, let's say uh, there is a developer in our team who is trying to build new data flow is called data flow 2 okay and uh, he want to include uh, you know the couple of table in his new data flow so he want to include uh, the tables in, in his data flow 2 as uh, you know uh, date product and fact internet sales so let me remove this customer table right so these are the different tables that uh, that the developer want to include in the new data flow so uh, to achieve uh, this requirement uh, or to implement uh, this uh, there can be two approaches guys uh, one approach is uh, that developer can directly connect to the source system actual source system and can pull the date product and fact internet sales table which is basically will be uh, like creating the data flow from scratch but uh, uh, this is not something that we wanted to do in our scenario and it is not the best practice as well uh, right uh, and the second approach is uh, uh, he can he can connect to the data flow one and uh, since the data flow one already has the date uh, uh, product and the fact internet sales table available right so he can connect to the data flow one and can pull this table into the data flow two and this is what the best practice guys uh, because uh, we are re reusing the uh, you know content uh, here right uh, which is already present in the data flow so we are reusing the content in the data flow two which is always good right instead of you know um, creating the things from scratch okay so that's what we are gonna do so that developer uh, will include will connect to the data flow one and will pull the date table and in the similar way uh, that person will connect to product as well and put the product table pull the product table and in the similar way that person will pull the fact internet sales table as well okay so that's how that developer gonna include these table into the data flow two okay and once these tables are included in the, into the data flow two they will be included as the linked entities okay they will be always add as linked entities or linked table and this is what the concept called linked entities and uh, linked table or how these tables actually gets created in the data flow okay so this is what about the linked entities and linked table concept hope 
that is clear if if this is not still clear then don't worry guys uh, we are gonna do the practical implementation also on top of it so um, you will have the clarity definitely there okay so let's get back to the ppt now so we have already discussed about the first point the linked entity simply points to the entities and other th other data flow and do not copy and duplicate the data okay so the date table product table and the fact table which are present in the data flow they are actually uh, pointing to the table which are present in the data flow okay and since they are pointing to the table they will not hold any data at all here in the data flow too okay so that's why uh, i mentioned the point here they do not copy or duplicate the data okay since they are pointing the table uh, which is present in the source data flow no data will be there in the data flow too so so no copy and no duplication okay now let's get back to the ppt and uh, read that second point linked entities are read only so yes that that point is definitely valid since uh, the tables are pointing to the table which is present in the another data flow all right so so definitely they will be read only okay because there will not be any data at all in the data flow too right so they will be read only and uh, uh, since they uh, the tables uh, will be read only we can we will not be able to perform the data transformation as well so data transformation means like uh, adding a particular column uh, uh, into the table or uh, uh, changing the data type of a particular column into the table so these such uh, these are such kind of you know data transformation that we do in the power query they, they they will not be able to achieve right so we cannot do that okay let's go to the next point to use linked entities in the data flow uh, works, uh, workspace should be backed up by the premium capacity license okay so uh, yes guys so linked entities concept is actually a premium feature so to use this feature uh, a workspace should be backed up by the premium license else we will not be able to utilize that okay so this is uh, all about the theoretical point uh, of uh, about the linked entities now let's go and try to understand this concept practically so let's get into the demo now so I am in the workspace called Tech Explore DW, and this is what the work uh, workflow that we created. Sorry, data flow that we created in our earlier session. So I'm going to use this similar data flow to implement uh, or showcase this linked entities concept, guys. So, but first of all, let me hit on this and let's try to see like what all the tables are present in it. So these are the tables, guys, which are part of this data flow: dim uh, date, dim product, fact, internet sales right uh, product category and subcategory so these are the tables which are part of this data flow now what i wanted to do as a developer uh, because i'm creating a new data flow right so so i want to include the uh, date table and product table and fact internet table into my new data flow okay so that's what i want to do so initially what i have to do uh, i have to go to the workspace because i want to create a new data flow and i'll click on new and we'll hit on the data flow so this is what the dialog box that i'm getting here right is uh, there are two options uh, one for data flow and uh, sorry one for data mart and another for data flow so uh, since this series is for data flow uh, i'm gonna hit this one will uh, i'll create a series on the data mart concept also which is basically on uh, built on top of the data flow only right so we'll create a series for that also but uh, since uh, uh, this series for data flow so i'm gonna go and hit on data flow the moment i hit on that uh, this these four options are again available here uh, okay and uh, we already talked about the first option here which is basically uh, creating the data flow from scratch so this is what not going to be utilized here in our particular scenario because uh, in, in our current scenario uh, we are gonna choose the existing data flow so this option is not kind of valid here for our scenario the second option is uh, 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 fitting here like uh, we cannot use uh, we, we use this option we'll use this option link table from other data flow so i'm going to go and click on add link table so uh, this is what the you know uh, authentication uh, process right uh, uh, so uh, i'm already authenticated uh, in, the, in my uh, earlier data flow uh, i created the similar data flow again uh, i mean in my uh, in earlier also so uh, I'm authenticated here so uh, I need to click on next so the moment I click on next uh, uh, 
I can see this is what the workspace that I where I have created the data flow right so I need to expand it so the moment I expand it this is what the data flow which we, which are which we created in this particular workspace right so I wanted to consume the tables which are part of this data flow so I need to expand it further so these are the different tables which are part of this data flow and which is present in this workspace okay so uh, as per scenario uh, I want to include the date table, the product table, and the fact internet sales table. So these are the tables that I wanted to include in my new data flow. So those are all selected. The only thing that I need to do here, click on transform data. So the moment I do this, that Power Query window is open for us and which is uh, a similar window that we have in the Power BI desktop or in the Excel version as well, right? So uh, these are the tables which are included in the Power Query and one very important point that I wanted to highlight here. So let me, you know, increase the font size of my window or now is uh, if you observe here, uh, these are the tables which are uh, part of my data flow now. But what is this uh, icon about? Like uh, there is a link icon which is added on top of the table icon, right? This is the link icon. And when I'm when I'm hovering a mouse here, it is saying something in the tooltip that link table added only and can be viewed in simply simplified data management, avoid data duplication, and maintain consistency across your organization. Okay. So these are the tables which are added as a linked table in my new data flow, which means that these tables are pointing to the tables which are available in the source data flow okay they are not they are not holding any data uh, here in the data flow too okay because they are pointing to those table which is available in the source data flow okay and since uh, uh, those are pointing to the source table uh, they cannot be modified and that's why we are receiving a warning icon also here and which is saying the link table cannot be modified any changes made to the query will not be saved okay because those are read only table okay so any transformation will not work here it will not be saved i mean you will be able to perform but finally when you will uh, hit on the save and close it will throw an error or will not happen okay so that's what uh, that's what uh, these are the linked uh, the table okay uh, that we which we have already included and uh, which are part of the different data flow okay so we have included uh, this table in my new data flow and the only thing that i need to do here close and uh, save and close but before that one more thing that i wanted to highlight uh, whatever the transformation that are done into the dim product and fact internal sales in the source data flow they will also uh, they will be also available here as well i mean here again we don't have to do any data transformation on top of these okay so uh, with that said the data looks uh, clean to me the only thing that i need to do save and close so that i'm gonna do so hit save and close the moment i do that uh, uh, as you can see here these tables are part of my data flow and now i need to put some names so i'll put name as df uh, linked entities Okay, so this is what the name I have given data flow linked entities now description also you can give uh, uh, based on the uh, purpose so we can click on save the moment I hit on save as you can see here now um, all the tables uh, uh, the data flow was not closed properly would you like to try to recover from cache no so click on no and um, look at here these are the tables that we thought of you know included in my new data flow from the existing the existing data flow so those are added here dim day dim product and the fact internet sales and here also you can see uh, there is a link icon on top of the table which shows that these tables are actually pointing to the different data flow okay you can look at the schema as well no you cannot look at here okay you cannot view okay so look at this statement i mean uh, this statement it says that the link table can be viewed can be viewed and edited in source data flow okay it means that you cannot view here as well okay I mean the scheme and all you cannot see here so whatever the changes you wanted to perform or whatever you wanted to do with this table should happen at the source data flow and source data flow is your adventure works data flow okay and from this data flow it is coming 
as okay so this is the hierarchy also that i mentioned here uh, this is the workspace name this is the data flow name and from this data flow this is what the table name that we are you know that we, that we are connecting to pull to pull this dim date table or creating the state table uh, dim date table in my new data flow okay and in a similar way for dim product and the fact that net sales also okay so now uh, my data flow is kind of you know ready right uh, uh, now it has to refresh okay so uh, i'll click on close and uh, this is what the data flow that has been created right so uh, 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 there are uh, some uh, okay from the reference point of view uh, i just wanted to highlight uh, uh, some point since uh, uh, this data flow is the linked data flow so we do not need to refresh this data flow okay once the source data flow gets refreshes this data set also will get refreshed okay let me show you this practically so i'm going to go and click on this uh, source data flow because this is the source data flow for this one and as you can see here um, the data refresh is started for this one also and altogether this also get started okay right so it means that if you refresh the source data flow your link data flow will get a start okay start refreshing okay so they will refresh i mean uh, you don't have to refresh this linked data flow okay it will be refreshed once your source data flow gets refreshed okay so it's refreshing as of now so let it happen it's refreshing please bear with me so it has me refresh as you can see the time also for refresh time for both of them is similar right so which says that uh, uh, if you refresh the source data flow your link data set data flow also will get refreshed okay and this could able to happen because these two data flows are available in the similar workspace okay this is very important point guys if you are source data flow and the link data flow is available in the similar workspace then it will happen okay then it will happen okay otherwise let's say if your source data flow is available in this particular workspace or your linked data flow is available in different workspace then it will not happen Okay, then it will not happen then in that case you know uh, you have to refresh the linked data flow separately okay you have to set up the schedule refresh accordingly okay so these are very important point guys regarding the refresh okay if your uh, link data flow and the source data flow align or uh, comes under the uh, uh, resides under the uh, reside in the uh, same workspace then uh, source data flow refreshes your link data flow also will get refreshed if both uh, source data flow and the link data flow are available in different uh, workspaces then the separate schedule has to be set up okay so this is a very important point so with that said guys uh, this is all about the uh, linked entities concepts in the power bi uh, data flow and let's get back to the ppt now so that's it guys for this video in the next uh, video uh, we will learn about the completed entities concepts uh, which is available in the power bi power bi data flow so thank you guys for joining this session and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you